Herbicides and fungicides are commonly used to control weeds and diseases in the soil beneath our feet, but a better approach might be right above our heads. Heating up the soil by trapping the sun's heat, a technique known as soil solarization, can kill weeds and soil diseases in warm climates. But now, using special plastics that trap more heat, the technique is being tried in the cooler climes of the Pacific Northwest. I first began working with soil solarization as a way to disinfest container nurseries uh, from the pathogen Phytophthora remorum, which causes sudden oak death. And growers really didn't have a way of disinfesting their soil. They couldn't use fumigants uh, in most cases because of proximity to buildings and roads and, and homes. And so we first tried this in container nurseries found that it worked very well and then we thought why limit it to container nurseries why not try it in uh, field production nurseries and our target wasn't so much phytophthora in those examples but other soilborne pathogens and then lo and behold it's very effective uh, at suppressing weeds the first year that we did solarization trials, we had dramatic results with weed germination. Uh, we could see clear differences, basically a line in the field between solarized and non-solarized. And uh, we had weeds and, and no weeds. So it was, it was pretty obvious that we were onto something big. Everybody jumped on board and we moved pretty quickly and aggressively at adopting it as a full-scale practice for the farm. We knew that things were going right when it's probably the middle of the year following our first first year of implementation, when our field foreman here uh, said to the manager, what are we going to do all summer long? There's no more weeds. That's when we knew things were really uh, going right. In nearby Yamhill, Oregon, Bailey Nurseries is also experimenting with the technique. And so far what we're seeing, we're seeing good weed management. Uh, it's exciting. It's a challenge. We do not fumigate on this facility. It's all done either through herbicides or hand weeding. So anything that we can try to reduce labor as labor is our number one cost and our number one challenge, um, it's exciting to see. We see it expanding to other crops where the crop is grown in a raised bed situation or potentially even row crops, high value row crops, particularly organic vegetables. Uh, where growers don't have very many options for controlling weeds. So we're very excited about this.